Within Africa lies a sleeping giant. Of course, we're talking about Nigeria. It has the largest economy. As we can see from its population, is it has a large, hard-working and enterprising human resource. And it has a very large, educated population. However, Nigeria is constantly ranked low in all the international matrix. This video highlights five key reasons why Nigeria is failing, why Nigeria is still a sleeping giant. Uh, the first reason why Nigeria is failing is because of its miseducation of its people. A lot of them have been educated under the old colonial system and once you do that, all you're doing is educating people to continue with the status quo. So point number two is corruption. Corruption at an elite level is quite high. So Nigeria has had oil production since 1968. And since then it has made $1.6 trillion. There's a mismanagement of resources in Africa, in Nigeria particularly. There's a lack of leadership in the entire country. The thing that is bringing Africa down is poor leadership. If our leaders do the right thing, then Africa will shut up. So if there's one thing that we need to address, we need to address leadership. How do we address leadership? By making sure that we train them with the right values. We need to start from a very young age, getting young kids, you know, trained with the right values. Hmm. So that they will do away with corruption. Corruption is killing Africa. And we're thinking that it's part of our life to be corrupt. That even if you're not corrupt, they think that you are not really African. <laughs> you know, so that should stop. And we should work on now creating future leaders by, by making sure that the good values of leadership is inculcated in their brains. They grow with it. People apathy is a huge problem. People are willing to accept what's happening, even though they, they complain constantly that it, it, is, it is wrong. And they know they can do better. They know the country itself can do a lot better. And in some small instances, a few people have broken out, it's not enough. And the final reason why Nigeria is in a poor state and is failing is the fact that it has a poor media. We just have one question, where the hell is the media? Apparently, in, in, in order for you to have a good democracy, you need the ability to protest, you need the ability to vote, and you need the ability of a free and fair press. And the free press needs to hold the people in power accountable. In the final conclusion, I would say that uh, you can see how hard working and enterprising and innovative the uh, people of Nigeria can be. But unfortunately, they are being handcuffed and shackled by the poor infrastructure which they have to work with and also by the slow bureaucratic government in which they have in place, which is still operating on a 19th century, early 20th century basis and hasn't evolved and stepped into the 21st century. There needs to be a, a reform. Um, the education system needs to be brought up to the 21st century. They need to cut out a lot of that corruption that appears both nationally and internationally. Uh, politicians 
need to be dragged into the 21st century. People, apathy, voter apathy, whatever you want to call it, that needs to be changed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please comment down below. I'm out.